Jared, so early? I apologize for the hour, but I'd like to see Henry. It's rather important. Of course. Um, won't you come in? Thank you. No business this morning, Jared. I've been up half the night. Will's gone. He's disappeared. Without even a trace. I know, Henry. He's over at our place. He rode over last night and asked for a job. Why? For no reason? Without even a word? Well, he was pretty worked up. He, uh, he knows the truth about himself, about the orphanage. He couldn't. He couldn't miss and you let it out. I think you know better than that. You're the only other one that knows. It's written in my will. You have it in your safe right now. You have a copy, too? Under lock and key, like it's always been. He didn't get it from me. Who told him, Jared? I wish I knew. Henry, you mean Will isn't your son? Oh, darling, why didn't you ever tell him? We meant to. We always meant to. It's, it's just that the right time never seemed to come. Maybe it's because we didn't want it to come. Maybe it's because we loved him too much. Thought that if we told him, he'd understand that we weren't just holding him. There must have been something else that made him run. I'm afraid you'll have to ask him. I'll ride over and bring him back. Henry, wouldn't it be better if Will came back on his own? Oh, just you wait and see. He'll come running back. The first little spat he has with Audra. Now, if you don't mind, I want to make sure that Henry gets some rest. He's just been so upset, poor darling. I'll stop by tomorrow, Henry. Goodbye. I know what's really bothering Will. It's that girl. Audra? She wants Will, and she won't stop at anything. But you're a man, darling. And I wouldn't expect you to understand. No. It's only lemonade. Listen, this is my drink from now on. Thank you, Mother, will you? For what? She's in town with Heath. Well, then, thank you. <sighs> Almost got away from me. You told Nick you could handle a forge. A forge, not a fire. Takes a man to do both. Left some tools. Moon, they got my mark. No use trying to talk to me. Darling, I was hoping to talk to you. Alone? Of course. Was my mama. I wouldn't argue with her. Here, my family's away. Oh, my. This is a wonderful room. Every time I come here, you know, my daddy used to keep his guns just like this. Many the time I watched him oil and polish. You wanted to talk to me? Yes. Send him home, Audra. You can't hope to hold him. 
I'm not trying to. I, I didn't even know he was coming. Well, of course you have to say that, darling. I understand completely. Oh, but there's nothing Sometimes that... you can't do what you want. Sometimes you gotta stop and think of others. Do you know what you're doing to his daddy? I'm not doing anything to Mr. Marvin or Will or anyone else. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. Sugar, princess with me, I know exactly what you're up to, Sugar. Little Miss Soap and Starch country girl. Don't know A from B or which from what. Gonna be pure shock to death when I tell her. You're not the only one he's looked at. That's right, little country girl. Things like that happen. Everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, he's been after me, me, for months. I don't believe that. You're second choice, darling. Strictly hand me down. I think Will ought to hear this. Order! Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Why would she pick up a gun? I don't know. Well, there must be some reason. Audra. Well, she... She was saying such wild things that... I said I was going to get you, and she grabbed the gun and... What kind of wild things? Well, she said you were always after her. It was the other way around. It wouldn't kill Paul when he finds out the truth about her. Well, you should have seen him when he brought her home. It was like she started a whole new life for him. And he never had much of one before that. Not with Ma and her being sick all those years. I can say it was an accident and not tell him the rest. No, the sheriff will be asking questions. But Jared will know what to do. Listen, I don't want you to have to lie. But it's not really a lie. It was an accident. Oh, Will, I thought you... Mother... She... I, I did it, ma'am. It was an accident. Well, I thought I heard somebody. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, did you give me a hard time. But it don't matter now that you're back. It don't matter one bit. It just goes to show you what pure foolishness a man can do. I should have told you about the orphanage. And I should have told them how to hold a drink and not worried about them taking them away. Paul, I got plans for you, Will. I got big plans, yes, sir. Starting today, Will. Paul, will I you want stop? You, I want... Will you... Will you listen? Oh, is something wrong? Paul... Don't, please, you'll hurt yourself more. What happened? 
I asked you what happened. It was an accident, Henry. Over at our place. Your place? She came to get me, Pa. To bring me home. We was in the gun room with Audra. Audra? Audra killed her? No, Pa. It, it, it was me. But it was an accident, Pa. She, she picked up the gun, admiring it like. And Audra told her to put it away because, well, it, it might go off. But, Pa, then I reached for the gun and... Pa, it's the truth. The truth is it was the girl's fault. That's pretty wild talk. She didn't tease him to come over there. Therese wouldn't have had to follow after him. And she wouldn't be lying dead in the wagon. Oh, no, Pa. Underneath that pretty face and that sweetness. You're wrong. Pa, if you just stop and listen. I gotta make arrangements. Jared. I don't know yet. Steve just said he wants to see us. Steve? Uh, sorry to have you ladies drive all the way in, but uh, I'm afraid it was necessary. Miss Berkeley? Mr. Seeger, how nice to see you sober. Sober on the day of the shooting, too. So I can recall the real plane. Now, Bert, you weren't there. Nick ran you off last week. I'll leave in time to pick up my tools. That's why I went back. All right. Now, you tell them what you told me. Sure. Like I just said, I'm getting my tools, and Mrs. Marvin rides up and says to the girl, I want to talk to you inside. So, the two of them go in the house together. Just the two of them? There was just two of them in there when the gun went off. That's not true. Will Marvin says he was in there also. Now, why would he lie? He's stuck on a girl. He'd want to help her out, wouldn't he? Maybe save that pretty neck from a stretching. Mr. Seeger, I've lived here a good many years. I've seen men lie for a drink or a dollar. But to lie out of mean personal spite to try and destroy a young girl's life... I warn you, Mr. Seeger. When we get through with you, there will be no place in this entire valley that you can hide. No place. Just tell her what happened is all. No, I've been figuring on moving down Fresno away. But if you need me for the hearing, I'll stay. All right. Audra, he is lying, isn't he? Now, that don't mean I can keep his mouth shut. Now, he'll talk his head off at the inquest. Inquest? I didn't think you needed an inquest. I've got to call one now. Friday afternoon, 3 o'clock, here. <laughs>